This Kello Land Living segment is sponsored by JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars. Locally owned since 1998, a true mom and pop shop. It probably goes without saying that growing a family and growing a business at the same time can be a challenge. Yet that is exactly what Josh Aberson has done with his family of five and his business, Green Acre Real Estate. As for how he manages to juggle all that and keep all the balls in the air, well, his answer just might surprise you. Ashley sat down with Josh Aberson recently at JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars for this week's Across the Table. Josh, thank you for sitting down with me. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> when I think about you, I think of a lot of different things. You know, your community involvement, building development, but I think of family first and how important your family is to you and what that really drives for you. So start by telling me about your family. Sure. Um, so I have a uh, beautiful wife of 15 years, Christy. Uh, she uh, works in banking downtown. I have three kids, a nine, seven, and a five-year-old. They just started summer break and uh, had the nanny come over this morning, first day. So I'm praying for her and that, that <laughs> is not going poorly. And then I have a lot of family in town. I have two older brothers. Uh, we grew up in Sioux Falls. We all went to Augie, so all their kids are here. And then my wife's family, almost all of them, are in Sioux Falls as well. She has one sister that lives in California, but otherwise, um, a lot of local family. So, It's a really tight-knit family. In fact, just from the peripheral, it's hard for me to keep straight who's related to who. Because, like, you and your brother <laughs> are so close, for example, but you and Mike are really close, but Christy and Jackie are also really, really close, too. So it's like, where are the relationships origi originating? Because everybody is so yeah. tight. Technically, the girls were friends before the boys. So like five years ago, we started a 40th birthday trip. So it started with the oldest, who was turning 40 that year. So then every subsequent year, everybody that turns 40 gets to choose where we go. And nobody else has any input whatsoever. And it's just a fun tradition, but we yeah. I like it. I'm just going to have to bump it up to 45 because I think our family's passed it a little yeah, bit, okay. right? Um, but selfish question. Okay. How do you manage everything just even in as an internal unit? Because you and Christy are both really active in the community. And you're both really busy with demanding jobs a lot of times and you've got three kids. So how do you manage that? We don't. <laughs> fair. That's a fair answer. No, it is. I mean, uh, we had five hours of windshield time yesterday coming home from the lake in northern Minnesota. And like, that's all we talked about because it's hard uh, judge, uh, juggling, like I said, the nanny starting and her schedule and getting all that coordinated and then the activities and businesses. And no, I mean, it's it's impossible. Um, kind of wing it some days and some days are easy and some days aren't. and. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a struggle sometimes, uh, but we have tons of fun and the kids are fun and they're also at that age too, right? Five, seven and nine is they're busy and running around and we're sitting there at dinner trying to have like a conversation. They're talking about God knows what, giggling the whole time, but they're just being kids and they're having fun. And it's kind of amazing. So you just kind of let it go and Christy and I'll just look at each other across the table and this is our life. What do you want to talk about, babe? Because <laughs> they're not going to talk to us. So it's, yeah, there's no perfect answer. That's for sure. Let's talk a little bit about what you do for your business because you're in commercial development and developing <clears throat> buildings, but I think in a really unique way. Uh, sure. So I have a, a real estate development company. The easiest way to put it is if you're uh, if you're putting a roof over somebody's head, we would be interested in that project. So uh, multifamily, but we do some hospitality as well. I mean, we're not an old company. It's been a bootstrap business for sure. So th thus far, we've mainly focused on kind of those difficult, like infill downtown type sites uh, where it requires a whole lot of attention to detail and a lot of planning and it takes years to put together, but they end up being cool and interesting projects uh, that are challenging. Challenging, interesting, things that a lot of people don't want to tackle. How much of that comes down to relationships and partnerships and the way that you go about doing your business? Yeah, it's all about partnerships. I mean, we're, we're a 
super small company. Um, and we partner on everything. We third party everything, construction, management. Uh, we third party on some development as well, just to bring on experience depending on what the project is. We do that with a handful of groups in town regularly. And when you really think about it, I would imagine a lot of your partners business-wise are people that maybe knew you or knew or saw you working in some other realm of the community or had relationships elsewhere where you just know from the beginning yeah, this is somebody right. I want to work with and someone I'm going to trust from the start right sure yeah and I mean all that's going to come from a common place and maybe you tweak that business or you're going to approach that person a different way and then they transition from a somebody you just like to hang out with to an investor or you know, what have you. Like, yeah, that happens regularly. Okay, now with all of those things happening, because I'm already tired listening to it, you still manage to somehow train for triathlons and running. How? That's true. I need advice on this too. Like you make it all work because that's just a big passion of yours. Well, I was going to work out this afternoon, but now I, you, <laughs> Cheers you to gave that. me a beer at <laughs> 2 o'clock. Mm. I find that when I'm training, I'm better at everything. You just don't throw away a half hour here or there ever because you can't. You know, there's certainly going to be times where you just don't want to do it and you bail out on a workout or whatever. But um, I don't know. I think I, I like to be challenged and it's certainly something that, you know, it's a physical challenge, but it's mental more than anything. And not even just day of on the race, but like getting there every day and on, finishing it on the daily grind uh yeah but i think that's fun i like training more than i like racing which most people probably don't say that in your day-to-day -day life with your family and your wife what do you hope most to pass on to your kids <laughs> um well this will be a faith focused answer for sure but just uh I mean, everyone wants their kids to be good people or what have you, but as long as they grow up with a relationship with Christ, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, I don't, you don't need anything else. They won't need anything else. And that may be, sound like a cheesy answer, but it's real to me. I'll cheers to that. Okay, thanks. And thank you for sitting down with me today. Thank you. Next time we drag your beautiful wife, Christy, out for the wine at 2 p.m. as well. Yes, yeah, she'll do that. She's much more interesting <laughs> to interview than I am. Thank you so much. You bet. At JJ's, they like to say they provide an enhanced adult beverage experience, and we think that's just perfect to sum up the great food and drinks and the great people you'll run into at JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars. They're located at 3000 West 57th Street in Sioux Falls. You can find out more about their specials and events by checking out their website at jjswine.com. Be sure and stop by JJ's on Tuesdays this summer when JJ's is rolling out cocktails and cars. JJ's is inviting anybody with a classic, custom, or otherwise badass truck, car, or motorcycle that you want to show off. They'll be showcasing these vehicles every Tuesday through the summer from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the north parking lot of JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars. This is your chance to walk around and check out some cool cars, have a cocktail, and listen to live music from 6 to 8 p.m. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars, locally owned since 1998, a true mom-and-pop shop.